Kaplan, and let's talk some movies, movies, movies. Movies! And so, Movie Pass is the monthly subscription service that lets you enter into any movie theater at least once a day and see a free movie. Uh, not technically free, but close to free. Now this, this uh, serve, uh, it, now, this service has been around since about 2011, but it's just started recently garnering attention because they've dropped their price from what was, I believe, the majority of the time it was a $50 a month thing yeah, uh, to like a $10 a month subscription service. Now, this is crazy. I mean, really think about it. $10 a month, and you get to see one movie a day. Now, they say they're available at over 91% of movie theaters across the country. So... It, it, it'll be harder to find a movie theater that will not take movie pass than does take movie pass now the way movie pass works is it loads every day uh the amount for a ticket onto your card you go in you use your card for it and boom you get one ticket you don't you can't get two tickets with it only one but it is a free movie a day now if you think about it unless you're going to matinees at all times ten dollars is more than the price of a ticket so just even use at least around here yeah yeah, well, around and in a lot of city areas, that that's the case. I mean, I think that they were saying that the national average is like nine dollars and something cents. Okay, but, but if you're in one of these city areas, it's it's one, ten dollars, it's eleven dollars, it's twelve dollars. Every ten dollars you pay is actually less than the cost of a movie ticket. So you're actually paying for it if you just go once a month, which is 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 absolutely crazy. And now, if you go twice a month, you know. And then Crazy. You doubled it. You wait. Yeah, you're going. You're going nuts here. Yeah, don't go <laughs> twice a month. Three times in. I mean, it's I, like you're I, losing I, money on not having this deal. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like if you ever go. If yeah, if you go to the movies once a month, you're losing money not having this deal. That is simple. The math. That's how that works out. Now, they like I said, 91 percent of all movie theaters. They say it, it works with. They have agreements with Regal as well as AMC. Kind. For the time being, because AMC is actually uh, discussing how, if they could take legal action to get themselves out of this deal, because they say it's not enough money I, to pay for these movies. Yeah, well, I'm not sure if they even have much of agreements with, with these companies, because what they're doing is they're just giving you a credit card that they're loading the money onto, and you're just paying the straight price. I think movie pa- uh, from what I understand, MoviePass is just losing money on it, and they're just shelling out extra money to these theaters in which case so why, why do they care <laughs> yeah they'd be like oh well you're just pushing people into our theaters and we're char- still charging you guys full price of admission so but yeah so but amc has worked on blocking that now this really just it seems almost too good to be true to be honest with you this mm-hmm. at 50 dollars a month it's a great deal especially around here if i went to see five movies a month uh, i mean that'd be a great deal now there's not if you want to see a movie like see. every weekend or something then yeah the fi- the 50 dollars a month makes it makes sense yeah yeah now it doesn't let you see like the crazy imax or 3d movies it's just the standard 2d movies but still i don't like the 3d movies i like imax movies yeah but i don't particularly like most 3d movies uh they're just not that fun um now apparently there are no blackout dates as well you like christmas you know thanksgiving some of these peak times they won't black you out from using the service either so you can go anytime ever and this is just absurd to me. There's got to be some sort of, of trick to it. Now, they do say the one thing I saw that was negative about it, which is not even all that negative, is you can't see the same movie more than once mm-hmm. is about the only negative thing I've read about this service. But that's this is just crazy that you can save so much money. It's like the best money-saving thing ever to get entertainment. Now, this has kind of spun some reactions from other entertainment companies because everybody wants to get uh, – the theater field they want to get the newer movies that's why you have all these bidding wars for like hbo and stuff to get those movies as soon as they come out of theaters and then like fx and all those companies will pay a ton of money to get those movies on their stations a year or two afterwards well we have amazon comcast and apple throwing around this idea which actually might start next year that they will get their movies uh the movies 30 days after the release in theaters but you'll have to pay a rental fee for it. Now, the rental fee is supposedly going to be $30, so that's way worse than Movie Pass. So just get Movie Pass and go to the theater. I don't know. Yeah. But as a person, I do personally, I prefer to watch movies at home sometimes. I mean, yeah, there is that big theater feel. But when I was a kid, you know, everybody had their crappy tube TVs, and going to the movie theater was the only way to really get that experience. I got a lot better TV now than we had back then. My sound system's better than now, too. Yeah. So it's, it's not like I need to be in a theater to get quite that experience now don't get me wrong it's still better in the theater but it's not 
hundred percent necessary, especially for some movies. Like if I was going to go see like an action movie, then yeah. Okay. I'd want to go to a theater, have it bigger, especially like, I'm not saying I would ever go want to see another Transformers movie in theaters. Cause I've seen two of them. That's an, that's enough for a lifetime in theaters. Um, but like if I was going to go see like a Transformers or something like that, some, some big and grandiose, you, you really want to see that uh, like that. Or maybe like some of the star Wars or, movies or something like that. If you want to go with a group of people, you might want to yeah, like go. a larger enough group of people anyway, that you don't, want everyone in your house anyway yeah so there are still reasons to go to the movies but again the, the experience has kind of changed so amazon comcast and apple are working on this and they've even said that they might have a 17 day program after release of these movies where you pay 50 dollars instead of the 30 dollars if you wait 30 days or something so i i think that's a little absurd i would not want to pay 50 dollars for a movie i'm not paying pay-per-view prices for a movie um because just to watch at home i if i'm I'm not paying fifty dollars for one sitting. I mean, really, I'm not. Unless I'm going to have like twenty other people around and everybody's chipping in a couple bucks, it's not doesn't seem worth it. I bet so. that's that's why what they're figuring though. I bet that's why they're putting that price point that high because they know there's going to be other people in the room. I, I, I just don't see. I don't. Maybe a family of five or six. Maybe. I mean, we grew up with six kids in our family, so maybe one of we our family that would be a reasonable thing to do is pay fifty dollars for a movie to rent. But again. I mean, the price difference isn't that big of a deal between yeah. those two sets. So it becomes negligible, in my, in my opinion, at that point. But I don't know. It is up, let us know what you think. Do you think this movie pass is uh, and the most amazing thing since Netflix instant streaming? Or do you think it's too good to be true? Hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below, of course, at What's My Face on Twitter. And Google Plus and Facebook. Oh, is a good way is getting a hold of us. But let's keep on a roll.